Hey, what is up guys? DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video. And today we're gonna be doing the PVE showcase for the brand new Heroes Assemble Danky Kaminari. Now, before we hop into the showcase, if you guys would like to see the PVP showcase and you're not already subscribed to this channel, go down there, hit that subscribe button so you guys get a notification when that does come out later this week. So for the PVE showcase, we're gonna be taking on the VE Tower. Specifically, we're gonna be taking on the new Beat Stage S difficulty on the third floor versus Jiro. This Kaminari is so freaking good and he will let you hit the max damage really, really, really easily. And not to mention he has technical hits and status elements, which are things you really want for VE Tower. As far as my Kaminari, he is level 100, not quite the max level for URs now, but that is because I don't have any duplicates of him. I am happy with the one copy though. His plus ultra move is called Lightning Blade. It deals 700% damage to a single opponent. This skill gains Piercing Shot. This skill will land a Bullseye if character's HP is 60% or higher, and then confuses character for one turn. So having Piercing Shot and a Bullseye is really, really good for PVP, it's not super important when it comes to like this VE tower, but it, it could be useful in future VE towers where maybe a character has evasion or barriers or things like that. Confusing himself kind of sucks, but it's only for the remainder of the turn. So basically he just doesn't get one normal attack, which isn't a big deal. His first action skill is called Human Stun Gun. It deals 325% damage to a single opponent. Medium chance of paralyzing the opponent. You do need to get his ability board up to ability board 10 to get that medium chance of paralyzing. Otherwise, it's a low chance to paralyze, so you do need to level this guy up a little bit. And it will paralyze for two turns, which is phenomenal. Also increases character's power by 25% for five turns. Increasing your power is insane. By 25% is really insane, especially when you couple it with his other abilities. His his second action skill is called Electric Shock Absorption. It increases character's plus ultra gauge by 40% if character receives an attack within two turns. Medium chance of paralyzing the opponent for two turns. When used in a successfully executed skill chain, restores character's HP by 50% of the damage dealt for two turns. And that is a cooldown time of three and four, which is really, really good. Those are amazing cooldown times. Not really needed on VE Tower when you're doing a three turn clear, but they would be very good for five to six turn clear VE Towers. His first auto skill is increase the wattage, increases characters max HP by 50% if there are any female characters on the team. Also makes character ecstatic for two turns if character receives an attack while not having the ability to paralyze the opponents, which is really good. His first auto skill is called lightning rod if character or second auto skill is called lightning rod if character receives an attack while having the ability to paralyze the opponent, increases character's power by 60 freaking percent. That is, that is huge. And then plus ultra move skill impact up by 70%. Freaking massive, absolutely massive. And speed by 50%, which is really good for PVP, but that is once again, a different story. But increasing power and plus ultra move skill impact by that amount, that is insane. He is basically gonna hit the damage cap of 99999 every single time. Now I do see in the future them maybe raising that damage cap from what it is now, in which case this could potentially become one of the, if not the hardest hitting characters in the game. So suffice to say, Kaminari, an absolute nuke, ridiculously good, really, really good for VE Tower, low cooldowns, status ailments, technical hits, all that good stuff going for him. So we're gonna hop into this VE Tower here and we're gonna see just how good he is. As we get into it, I want to explain my action skill order to you guys. I'm going to use Kaminari's first action skill first because it raises our power by 25% and because it has a chance to paralyze for two turns. And it is a medium chance to paralyze once again if you get his board up to board 10. If you don't have it up to board 10, then it is going to be a low chance to paralyze. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the paralyze off. We did not land the paralyze, but that's okay. We still have another chance to paralyze Jiro. We're gonna be using Kaminari's second action skill right here, which is called Electric Shock Absorption. This move is absolutely insane. So, so good. It raises your plus ultra gauge. It has a medium chance to paralyze the opponent for two turns. It can be used in a skill chain, which is a technical hit, and it will restore your HP by 50% of the damage dealt. And on top of all that, it has a cooldown time of three. So like the most ridiculous ability, really, really good. It'll be good in future VE towers or going back to double S difficulty on six turn clear. BE towers, it's just gonna be really good. But we're gonna use this right now in hopes that she attacks us and in hopes that we paralyze her. Because this paralyze lasts for two turns, then we will be able to paralyze her during our plus ultra turn when we're doing a bunch of damage and hopefully she won't enter destruction mode because she's paralyzed. 
If Jiro does enter destruction mode, then she reduces damage by a lot and it gets really annoying to try and hit max damage. But as you can see, we paralyzed her so we know she's not going to enter destruction mode. If you take a look at the menu right here, look at the plus ultra move impact up. We have an increase in character skill impact for Kaminari by 95% for plus ultra moves. That is actually ridiculous, super insane. Like that is such a high number. That is so, so good. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you will see status element counter still has one more turn where we have a medium chance to paralyze the opponent. So say we hadn't paralyzed Juro on turn two, then we might've been able to paralyze her turn three if she did end up actually attacking us. Ideally, in the ideal run, you wanna land your first action skill on turn one with a paralyze. She'd be paralyzed turns one and two, and then she'd be unparalyzed turn three, attack your Kaminari again, and his status element counter would kick in and you paralyze her a second time. So ideally you could get at least two paralysis off in a three turn clear with this Kaminari, which is actually really pretty decent for a three turn clear VE tower. All right, let's go ahead and use our action skills and see how much damage Kaminari does. It'll probably be in the 90,000s no matter what, whether we hit a crit or not. 99,000 damage with the crit. So you can see why they would uh, allow him to confuse himself. And then present Mike's gonna finish it up right here. And of course, between 99,000 damage, 67,000 from Todoroki, and 22,000 from present Mike, we should easily, easily hit that max damage. Max damage for you guys is 180,000 points. As you can see right there, we had a fairly decent score on this third floor of the VE Tower. Like, this is a viable team for current competing in the VE Tower. If you guys wanted to use this team, it would work. This is 190,000 damage for max damage turn. That is really, really good. We hit six crits, six status elements, three plus ultra moves, three status elements. Those three status elements realistically could have been four status elements, which would have been a little bit better if we'd hit both our paralyzes. But Kaminari is literally an absolute beast for PVE. He is going to be so freaking good. I, I imagine he's going to find his uses in every single VE tower. Like he, the low cooldowns that he has, the fact that he has technical hits, the fact that he has status ailments, he is going to be so good guys. So if you haven't pulled this Kaminar yet, you might want to consider doing a few more summons. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you want to see the PVP showcase for this guy, make sure you go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me some comments about what you thought about the showcase. Thank you for watching. Peace.